In the movie Contagion, I played an epidemiologist trying to stop the spread of a hypothetical virus. To prepare for the role, I spent time with some of the best public health professionals in the world. And what was one of the most important things they taught me? Wash your hands like your life depends on it. Because right now, in particular, it just might. Or the life of someone you love, or even the life of someone you might not know, but is still deserving of your consideration. Like the people on the front lines of this fight right now, the doctors and the healthcare providers, the people who are still working in the grocery stores or delivering food to your homes, which is where you should be right now. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, a little bit powerless at the moment, here's something that we can all do to make a difference. And it doesn't require a medical degree or a microscope or a ton of knowledge. Soap and water are all you need. Just get the temperature right. The water doesn't need to be that hot and most any soap will do. The way soap works is that one end of the soap molecule binds with the water and the other end binds to the grease on your hands. The virus is washed away with that grease when the soap molecule attaches to it. Yep, yep, a scientist taught me that. Why else would I know it? They also taught me to wash my hands for 20 seconds, which is roughly how long this segment has taken. Three, two, one. Remember, that there is only one way to get COVID-19. If you come in direct contact with a droplet from the cough or a sneeze of an infected person, and that droplet finds its way into your eyes, nose, or mouth. Gross but true. That's why people need to cover their mouths like this, <coughs> because COVID-19 can also live on surfaces, or as scientists call them, fomites, because the lovely scientists do like to have special words for everything. Fomites include everything from cardboard boxes that you might receive your vitamin supplies, your pet food, or even your baby milk formula, to stainless steel forks, to carpeting and bedding and clothes. Depending on the surface, COVID-19 can live there from a few hours to a few days. So wipe down surfaces that are frequently used with a disinfectant. And here are the rules for that. Spray, wait four minutes, and then wipe. Yes, it takes four minutes, for a disinfectant to do its job and avoid touching your face. It's not easy, but it's an important one because if you touch a surface with your hands and then you touch your face, you can get infected. So to put it bluntly, the health of our society is quite literally in your hands. I know this is hard and this is new and it's scary, but you really can defend yourself and the people you love with a bar of soap a sink, some water, and by listening to the public health experts where you live. We all want a cure, but until we have one, we need to be that for each other, starting now.